Oh, that is cold air. Went from 80 to this. It's a whole 51 at almost noon. I think we got 91 one day last week. Forgot all of my seats were still pulled forward. And when I was cleaning my car yesterday, um, I didn't put them back. Now to charge my phone. Because it will charge 10 times faster here. So we're at 15% and 1126. Okay, I'm on. I don't know if I'm gonna, I think I'm, I don't know what I think I'm gonna do. Let's find out if she did. Did you take your pill this morning? Go home at lunch and take your pill. So yeah, it's, it's been interesting. Let's go with that. The other day I joked with Anthony about how I'm the one that runs so much that I needed the hybrid. Um, but at the time when I was looking, there wasn't a hybrid. And I, that sounds bad. I don't like his car, like comfort wise. Okay. Uh, no, I wanna go that way. So, and I don't, I use, I think I use too much gas, you know, miles per gallon kind of situation. Um, but I do have to run five days a week. And so that takes a lot of gas. And what did I tell you guys? So we picked up Anthony's car on... I don't remember, it was a Sunday, actually. Okay, so one, two, th almost three weeks ago, and he's only used half a tank. And we have used the car a couple of extra times besides just him going back and forth to work. So, and we drove an hour to go pick up the vehicle they filled it up so we drove an hour home and then that's been him putting another I think between here and work is another like 25 miles now I'm curious oh that's good I'm gonna go to Portland VA Wrong VA. It is so used to me. I can't get it. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. I think it's 25 miles. And I think that's all together. Okay, Google. How many miles between my house and VA Walla Walla. 17 miles one way. Okay. So, not enough miles. But it gives you a rough estimate on how much that is. You know, times two. And only half a tank. He's just like barely, barely under half a tank. So. My wrist has been really bad. Um, so yes, <laughs> if I'm going to recommend any car, uh, a, uh, a hybrid is where it's at. 
That's where I should check in and see how much it would cost to turn mine into one. Which, I don't know if you can really do that. That would be cool though. That would be smart, especially with as much as I run. So, I've got that today. Lex is doing better. Gotta find out if she's taking her meds. Um, we... Ugh, yeah. That's how I feel right now, just like, ugh. I have a slight headache. So it's 11.31 and I've already gone up to 18%. And it's on. If I turn it off, it'd probably go quicker. Um, anyway, so I, what is it? In a couple of days, I have to get the kids off to school. So I need to get up fairly early that day, but that doesn't bother me. Watch, that'll be like the night before, all of a sudden I can't go to sleep at a decent hour. But there was one time last week, we literally laid down and the sun hadn't quite set. It's official, we are old. <laughs> And so, yeah, fun. I feel like I'm gonna be there like heck early, and I am. I'd rather be early than be late for him. I'll just do like I normally do, sit in the car and wait. So, my little cousin, God, I still keep calling her my little cousin. Katie is choosing not to find out her gender. I kind of touched base on a really quick blog. Um, I am so excited for her. Um, they've gone through a rough patch and now they seem to be on the other end of it. And I am so happy for them. So, she already has a boy and a girl. And the girl is a spitting image of her and I just saw her son yesterday in a picture and he is looking like his daddy. And so, uh, they are choosing not to find out until you know the baby comes out they may just tell someone to put a diaper on and just you know have someone else change diapers <laughs> but um, I think it's a cool idea if she can do it uh, I think we always said for sure we wanted to know with legs and I think we wanted to know with Connor and I wish we hadn't have found out, but you know, I'm more happy that I didn't get an epidural and did natural labor. So you take it where you can get it. Um, that we had boy clothes, which was good because the boys are only two years apart. So um, she's doing a very neutral everything, which is great. So she wants uh, mooses and black bears and buffalo plaid, which, as you guys know, close to my heart, and just red, black, and a gray. And you guys have seen, that's the blanket I was working on, that one, the big chevron one, which I have... I don't know what it is, but I finally learned it. It has taken me many years of crocheting because I've been doing it for years. I don't knit anymore. That one's too hard on my hands. It's not just my hands either, which is, I find weird. It's hands, shoulders, back. Um, I don't know if I sit really weird when I'm crocheting or what. Um, but... Um, I was uh, when she told me pl the plaid and I was like well you're not getting that one out of me I have tried to make plaid it to me it just looks bad so I got not got sorry let's back up so I had red gray and black did the chevron think it's a beautiful blanket I made a small chevron for the moose to hold 
and he is officially attached and everything is working on that one. Um, so that blanket will never leave his hands. Um, and I did his different. I didn't attach the blanket to his hands and then put his hands together. I went ahead and put his hands together and then kind of just flipped it over. Um, I think he's adorable. But, you know, I might be a little biased. Um, then... big chevron oh and then I had bought some fat baby yarn so I found one that is a red a dark brown and a light brown and I felt like that one kind of represented the bear because if you guys have seen the moose the moose has red plaid on his paws which Anthony picked out the moose I never saw the moose until the moose got here I mean, I kind of glanced at him, but I was like, whatever, just order it. I don't care. I need a moose. I need a, bra a black bear. And so the black bear, I don't know when we can purchase him, but um, I'm going to buy him. And I could go in right now and just change cards because the one um, account has nothing in it for us to buy. Um, and so... I might do that so I can make sure to get him and then I can get everything sent to her. So I used the brown thick one, the brown red and tan one to make uh, another chevron blanket. That one with the fat yarn seemed a little more trying um, than I expected. I expected that one to be, it's my third, fourth blanket. Thinking straight forward, no issues, no Amy was wrong. Um, I had to pull it out a couple of times. There were a couple of times where I questioned it because like the end would kind of bubble out. And I'm like, what am I doing? You know what? Forget it. I'll just keep going. And thank goodness I did that because the second round, it kind of it went from like this to this. And I was like, all right, it's gotta be the yarn. And so it seems to have been the yarn. And then I tried to do it, so I had um, a fair amount, not a lot, left after I finished his blanket because I wanted this blanket, his or, his or her blanket, to be for, to be able to be tucked into the car seat. And as the baby gets older, carry it around easily. Nothing too bulky, nothing too big. Um, I kind of regret the size of the one I have done for the baby little girl, the mermaid one. Um, that one seems to be big for the doll, but I attached it anyway. And I think it's adorable. I attached it at one of the corners, so it's longer. And I think it might be okay, you know, especially when the baby gets to be a toddler or whatever, you know, she can easily carry it around. I think it's a cute idea. I chose not to have her hold the blanket the same way I had other things because I still cannot comment on the other stuff that I made. But, um, <laughs> and as soon as that day comes and goes, because this person watches my vlogs. Um, then I can comment on that one. And then I'll show you guys all the pictures. They're adorable. Let's just go with that. He will love it. Anyway, so. Um, I th So I took what was left of the brown, the, the thicker baby yarn... And I was like, okay, so I'll make a chevron of this and just make it for the bear. And I'll just attach it to one paw and he'll just carry it around. I think it's a cute idea, a little small one. That one was a no-go. No matter what I did, I could not get that one in chevron because I was thinking we'll just, you know, stay with the theme of chevron and go from there. No, um, that little, that thick was not, not working for me. 
So I was like, okay, that's not good. Um, and so, um, I just ended up doing, you know, like 25 stitches across and four or five rows up, whatever I ended up. So I ended up short by two stitches to end at the very end. So I'm going to attach the one where it isn't finished to his hand on that side. And I think that will work perfectly fine. My nose feels all messed up. Um, and so, which will be good. No, I shouldn't have come this way. Anyway, um, so like now I am in full wanna make a bunch more blankets. So if y'all want to buy one, let me know. <laughs> um, I got frustrated when I was making some of them and, and you know, I felt like people don't appreciate handmade things anymore. And I know a lot of people, um, who at baby showers or whatnot. Oh, is there still a tag on this? I'm just going to take it back. And everything that I have bought for baby showers for anyone, there is thought and there is a reason I have bought this gift. And it is definitely not for you to turn around and take it back and get whatever you wanted. If I 